Hello and welcome. Today, we're delving into a phenomenon as mysterious as it is incredible, the predictions of the future in the series, The Simpsons. How is it possible that this television show, famous for its satirical humor and iconic yellow characters, could accurately predict major events, technological innovations, and even election results? Join us as we explore behind the scenes of the series, hear from the creators in interviews, and uncover the secrets behind The Simpsons' predictions. And most importantly, don't forget to click here to subscribe if you enjoy this video, and to activate all notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. It all began in 1987 when Matt Groening was approached by James L. Brooks, the producer of the variety show, The Tracy Ullman Show. Brooks needed short animated segments to fill gaps in the show, so he invited Groening to pitch an idea. Instead of risking his own existing comic strips, Groening conceived of a dysfunctional family, named after his own family, except for Bart, an anagram of brat, meaning troublemaker. What was initially meant to be simple interludes of a few minutes quickly captured the hearts of viewers, leading to the creation of a full-fledged series on Fox in 1989. Groening and Brooks were thus the architects of The Simpsons' success, in collaboration with Sam Simon, who played a crucial role in developing the characters and the world of Springfield. Together, they transformed rough sketches into a sophisticated satire of American society. The directors and producers of the series varied over the seasons, but the consistency of its tone and cultural relevance remained supervised by a dedicated team of writers and animators, making the series even more incredible as these changes had no effect on it. It's as if its characters truly existed. On the financial front, The Simpsons has become one of the most lucrative media franchises in the world. To date, the series has generated billions of dollars in advertising revenue, merchandise sales, syndication rights, and licensing deals. It has significantly profited from digital distributions and international rights, and it also saw great commercial success with its transition to the big screen in 2007. The Simpsons movie alone grossed over $527 million worldwide, solidifying the series as a powerhouse in the entertainment industry. However, beyond its commercial and critical success, The Simpsons have captivated the world for an even more astonishing reason, as you've already guessed, their ability to predict the future. This peculiar trait has often been seen as a humorous coincidence, but on several occasions, the series has eerily anticipated major global events long before they occurred, which is quite unsettling. Alright, a little clarification for the uninitiated. This long-running animated show has long been attributed with predicting numerous major world events years before they happened. The show, which follows the antics of Marge, Homer, Lisa, Bart, and Maggie Simpson, along with other residents of Springfield, was spot on about Elon Musk's name change on Twitter to X and the feminist reimagining of Barbie by Greta Gerwig, and the list goes on. One of the most striking examples is the election of Donald Trump as President of the United States in 2016 an event the series had predicted 16 years earlier in the episode, Bart to the Future, aired in 2000. In that episode, Lisa Simpson succeeds Trump, becoming president in a financially troubled country, a direct and prophetic illusion. I can't help but mention another notable example, that of Disney's acquisition of 20th Century Fox, a massive deal that shook the entertainment industry in 2019. The Simpsons had hinted at this possibility in a 1998 episode, where an outdoor sign of 20th Century Fox appeared with the tagline, a division of Walt Disney Company. But discussions around this strange statistical phenomenon were recently reignited after Ocean Gate's Titan submersible lost contact with the surface before imploding with five passengers inside, Stockton Rush, CEO of Ocean Gate, French diver Paul Henry Nargillet, British billionaire Hamish Harding, Pakistani businessman Shahzada Daywood, and Daywood's 19-year-old son, Suleiman. Once again, an event that was eerily predicted by Homer and company with chilling accuracy. These predictions, among many others, evoke a mix of fascination and questioning about how the writers managed to anticipate future events with such precision. So, what is the extent of their predictive genius, and what is mere coincidence? The question of The Simpsons' ability to predict the future has not only fascinated but also spawned numerous controversies and conspiracy theories. Some viewers are convinced that these predictions are not random but rather the result of privileged information or even signs of a vast conspiracy. These theories suggest that the creators of the series may have access to information that the general public does not, fueling the idea of possible collusion with elites or secret organizations. On the other hand, a large number of people, 
including media experts and scientists, argue that these predictions are actually coincidences amplified by the sheer volume of episodes produced, 700 episodes aired, and the satirical nature of the series. They argue that The Simpsons, as a social satire, touch on many universal and contemporary themes, statistically increasing the chances of correspondence with future events. The longest-running series in history, with its humorous and irreverent approach, delves into numerous imaginary scenarios that sometimes happen to align with future events. Therefore, it may be a matter of the law of large numbers. The more content created on various themes, the greater the chance of accidentally landing on something that may later come true. Then there's also a theory that explains this phenomenon by considering that The Simpsons is primarily a social satire that explores the trends, fears, and hopes of American and global society. By commenting on and exaggerating aspects of contemporary society, writers sometimes unintentionally touch on scenarios that later become reality. Moreover, John Schwarzwelder, one of the most prolific writers of the series, has also commented on these coincidences, stating that they simply write about the world as they see it, and that sometimes, the world catches up to their fiction in unexpected ways. While all of this may hold true, there's an additional reason that has never been addressed and could perhaps provide the answer to our questioning. You all know that unlike most other shows, The Simpsons' writing team is largely composed of writers who are highly educated in fields ranging from mathematics to social sciences, as they are also very connected. Although the creators of the series themselves have often approached this question with a mix of surprise and amusement, downplaying the prophetic scope of their scenarios by stating that everything was just pure chance, there's the theory of talent combined with science and intuition. And to understand it, we need to look at things from a completely different angle. The writers of The Simpsons are renowned for their intelligence, insight, and ability to capture the essence of cultural and social currents. Yes, the brilliant minds behind The Simpsons and Futurama, often benefiting from a back and forth of comedic talents between the two series, are considered among the most educated and skilled television writers in the world. Since 2014, the show has welcomed dozens of talents from the prestigious Harvard University, including Al Jean, Dan McGrath, John Collier, Greg Daniels, J. Stuart Burns, David X. Cohen, John Vitti, Richard Apple, Bill Oakley, Ken Keeler, Steve Tompkins, Jeff Westbrook, Conan O'Brien, George Mayer, Max Pross, Steve Young, Dan Greeney, Jeff Martin, Mike Reese, Tom Gamble, Nell Scovel, Daniel Chun, Matt Warburton, and many others. Get ready to be shocked, several of these names stood out during their studies. Looking a bit further into their backgrounds, we discover that among them, Al Jean brilliantly graduated with a degree in mathematics. J. Stuart Burns also excelled in mathematics, graduating magna cum laude, before writing a thesis titled The Structure of Group Algebra and pursuing a master's degree at UC Berkeley. David X. Cohen, co-creator of Futurama, earned a degree in physics magna cum laude before obtaining a master's degree in computer science at UC Berkeley as well. Jeff Westbrook, on the other hand, specialized in physics and history of science before acquiring a PhD in computer science at Princeton University, where he wrote a doctoral thesis on algorithms and data structures for dynamic graph algorithms. He then became an associate professor in the computer science department at Yale University. As for Ken Keeler, he graduated with honors in applied mathematics, then doubled with a PhD, writing a thesis titled Cartographic Representations and Optimal Coding for Image Segmentation. Matt Warburton excelled in cognitive neuroscience at the prestigious university, and Bill Odenkirk earned a PhD in inorganic chemistry from the University of Chicago. It's important to note that these intellectuals at the level of Lisa Simpson represent only those who attended the famous Harvard University. And not to be outdone, Alf Clausen, the longtime composer of the series, initially studied mechanical engineering with a specialization in mathematics at North Dakota State University before turning to the arts. You might wonder, so what? What does this have to do with predictions? Patience. I'm getting there. As I mentioned, the Harvard Lampoon has been a springboard for many comedic talents, several of whom joined the Simpsons team. The Harvard environment, combined with experience at the Lampoon, allowed these writers to hone their writing skills, their sense of satire, and their ability to critically analyze social and cultural phenomena. This training not only gives them a solid foundation in writing but also enables them to observe the world with an eye for subtle details and emerging trends, 
which may explain some of the series' accidental predictions. Yes, I know, creativity alone isn't enough. But on a scientific background, it is. Some of the writers of The Simpsons also have backgrounds in science, which adds a layer of complexity and precision to their work. These analytical skills and scientific outlook influence how they approach content creation, allowing for often accurate and thoughtful representation of technological and scientific trends. This scientific background thus helps to better integrate elements of plausibility into scenarios that would otherwise be purely fictional. This combination of education in both humanities and exact sciences gives the writers of The Simpsons a unique tool to create stories that are not only entertaining but also incredibly insightful. Their scripts are filled with sharp cultural references, clever wordplay, and a great sense of humor. Their ability to inject elements of potential future reality doesn't come from a conscious effort to predict the future, but rather from a keen understanding of the direction in which society could reasonably evolve. With such a level of collective intelligence, how can we not consider the possibility that they anticipate the future? By bringing together some of America's brightest minds to dissect the contemporary landscape for satirical purposes, they naturally end up ahead of trends, especially in our modern culture, which tends to repeat itself, as demonstrated by former US President Donald Trump with his presidential candidacy or Richard Branson with his space projects. In summary, while conspiracy theories may offer a more sensational explanation, the majority of evidence and statements suggest that The Simpsons' predictions are the result of a convergence between acute observation of society, high-level education, a diversity of expertise, combined with a bit of randomness, admittedly. These episodes, which seem to predict the future, humorously explore complex themes, sometimes prophetically, and continue to add a layer of mystery and intrigue to an already rich and diverse series, thereby reinforcing its status as a global cultural phenomenon.